Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Rider. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this Met Bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. What was wrong with how things really were? Well... Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit, fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. What about them? You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her. Then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing! But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide and seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Only one of us could make it. And he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7. The things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. That's how I'll remember him, then. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. 
How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner, she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah. Only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. Ryder, another of your father's memories has just unlocked. Speaking with Sarah seemed to have triggered it. It's the final end. William Spender, Assistant Director of Colonial Affairs, has been fired after he was caught stealing supplies from the Nexus. Spender chose to leave the Nexus rather than face sanctions. His whereabouts are currently unknown. This is HNS. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it GN Garson said? The code word is fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly, the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you, and then Seven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <clears throat> Sam, 
Transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. There's still hope for your mother. Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant, that something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information should anything happen to him. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. Got it. I need to go find Mom. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. Personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Uh, instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but 
I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are and all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 20. I'm on the. I'm very un. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way. Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. There you are. What's going on? Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Um, Mom? No question there. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Riley? The initials. E-R. Are you saying... I saw Dad's last memory. E-R is Ellen Ryder. He brought her along. Sarah, it's Mom. Oh my God. How is this possible? Dad loved her that much. He wouldn't give up. Not even at the bitter end. For a man not given to rash action, his emotion drove his decisions in the end. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. 
Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. No way we're losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, together. <laughs>